Hey everybody, these are the fire, fire soak scriptures that we went over, I believe, during uh, House of Fire, but I wanted to read them and have it separate, um, and I wanted to do it to music. Now, this music is not mine. It is from wonderful, surrendered, um, wow, prophetic ministers, Jackie and Stacey Baker, and I will leave the links below for this, for this uh, music. But I'm gonna, I am basically going to read these scriptures and I want you to soak. These are the fire fire scriptures. Okay. And I want you to soak. And, and I may also do the the scriptures, the light scriptures as well, because these are healing scriptures. And I just want you to soak and allow this to minister to you so that you can be whole in Jesus' name. That your soul can can begin to heal and be whole. So let me get this going. First Peter chapter one, verse seven. So that the genuineness of your faith, which is much more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested and purified by fire, may be found to result in your praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. That is why I would remind you, stir up, rekindle the embers of, and fan the flame of, and keep burning the gracious gift of God, the inner fire that is in you by means of the laying on of hands with those of the elders at your ordination. Acts chapter 2, verse 2. When suddenly there came a sound from heaven like the rushing of a violent tempest blast, and it filled the whole earth in which they were sitting. And it filled the whole house in which they were sitting. Amen. Psalms 106, verse 18. Fire fell upon their followers. A flame consumed the wicked. Mark chapter 9, verse 49. For everyone will be tested in fire. Acts chapter 2, verse 3. And there appeared to them tongues resembling fire, which were separated and distributed, and which settled on each one of them. Settling upon you right now. Settling upon you right now. Right now, right now, right now. Separating right now, being distributed right now settling on each of you right now. Hallelujah. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38. Immediately the fire of the Lord flashed down from heaven and burned up the young bull, the wood, the stones, and the dust. It even licked up all the water in that in the trench. First Kings 18, verse 38, Amplified Classic. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and also licked up the water that was in the trench. 
Isaiah 43, verse 1. But now, in spite of past judgments for Israel's sins, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, ransomed you by paying a price instead of leaving you captives. I've called you by your name. You are mine. Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. The Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with a pillar of cloud that is his glory. And he provided light at night with a pillar of fire. This allowed them to travel by day or by night. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. It is not, is not my word like fire that consumes all that cannot endure the test, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks in pieces the rock of most stubborn resistance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Break our hearts, O Lord. All stubborn resistance. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. First Kings. Chapter 18, verse 39. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11. I baptize you with water. Those who repent of their sins turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Fire falling right now. Burning, 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 burning. Fire fall, fire fall, let your fire fall, Lord. Your holy fire, let it fall upon our hearts, upon our minds, our soul. Burning up everything not of you. Burning up everything not of you. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 13. Remember, the fire must be kept burning on the altar at all times. It must never go out. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 12. Looking forward to the day of God and hurrying it along, on that day he will set the heavens on fire and the elements will melt away in his flames. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. The Lord your God is a devouring fire. He is a jealous God. He's jealous for our hearts. He will not shame with anyone his glory, his attention. He's worthy of all things. Worthy, 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 worthy. Exodus chapter 13, verse, verse 22. And the Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place 
in front of the people. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. For our God is a devouring fire. For our God is a devouring fire. Our God is a devouring fire. You see why these fire scriptures are so important? Because they are his characteristics. They are him. They are who he is. For our God is a devouring fire. Devour in our hearts everything not of you. Everything not of you. Everything not of you, Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. Want to be in the light as you are in the light, Jesus. Your light heals us. Your light heals us. Your light drives out darkness. You are light. You are light, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your light. Your light is overtaking our bodies right now and it's transforming our bodies. We are being transformed. Our body, our spirit, our, or not our spirit, but our body, our soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions. All of us being transformed just as Jesus, just as you, Jesus, were transformed on the Mount of Transfiguration. Transfiguration is a complete change of form or appearance to the form or your appearance to be more beautiful or a spiritual state, it says. This is just out of the dictionary. Christ, and it goes on Christ's appearance in radiant glory to the three to, to three of his disciples. And we find that in Matthew chapter 17, verse 2, and Mark chapter 9, verses 2 through 3, and Luke chapter 9, verses 28 through 36. Lord, we release, I release, I release, I release your fountain of light. I release your light and your dunamis into our souls, your dunamis power. The dunamis power is the dynamite power of God. That word dunamis, hallelujah, is where we get the word dynamo and dynamite. That dynamite explosive power being released into our souls right now. It was this dunamis power that brought you back from the dead. Hallelujah. It was again, it was again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. John chapter 8, verse 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. John chapter 3, verse 21. But whoever practices truth and does what is right, morally, ethically, spiritually, comes to the light, so that his works may be plainly shown to be what they are, accomplished in God, divinely prompted, done with God's help, in dependence, in dependence on him. 1 John chapter 1, Verse 5. This is the message of God's promised revelation, which we have heard from Him and now announce to you that God is light, He is holy, His message is truthful, He is perfect in righteousness, and in Him there is no darkness at all, meaning no sin, no wickedness. No imperfection. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your lamp or your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. For once you were in darkness, 
But now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Live as those who are native born to the light. We're native born to the light. We're native born to the light. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge and fortress of my life. Whom shall I dread? Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. But unto you who revere and worshipfully fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings and his beams, or light, <laughs> and his beams. And you shall go forth and gamble like cows, calves released from the stall and leap for joy. That's the Amplified Classic. Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 through 3 from the Message Bible. Count on it. The day is coming raging like a forest fire. All the arrogant people who do evil things will be burnt up like the woods, like the stove wood, burned to a crisp, nothing left but scorched earth and ash, a black day. But for you, sunrise, the sun of righteousness will dawn on you, will dawn on those who honor my name, healing, radiating from its wings. You will be bursting with energy like colts, frisky and frolicking, and you will tromp on the wicked. There will be nothing but ashes under your feet on that day. God of the angel armies says so. Hallelujah. That word healing, that word healing in the Strongs is the word marpain. And the Strongs concordance number for that is 4,832 Marpea, meaning a healing, a cure, health. It brings healing, composure, healing, and health, healing what's incurable. He's the remedy, soothing, the soothing and tranquil. Hallelujah. That word healing, when it says the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, that word healing means everything I just said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship you. We give you honor and glory and praise. Hallelujah. We will continue to soak. Continue to soak in you. Soaking in your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen